So I know you told me not to read, but I have to. I couldn't get through this without paper in front of me. This is my personal story. I dedicate this to my father, Sidney Joseph Gibson, 1946 to 2014. I advocate for aid in dying because my father could not receive the help he wanted and needed in order to die a dignified death. This is not fair or just. He was owed better by our laws and constitution. When my dad retired in 2000, he looked forward to having more time to spend with family. He adored his newly born grandchildren. For a few wonderful years, our most favorite time of year was our week-long vacation on Block Island. The kids adored their pop-pop, and those days are truly some of the most magical of our lives. Then in 2006, my dad suddenly fell in the middle of a parking lot because his legs had given out. After many years of watching him slowly degrade physically, losing his ability to walk, swallow, take full breaths, control his bladder and bowels, he was diagnosed with a rare degenerative motor neuron disease called spina cerebellar ataxia. It took him eight years to die from the disease. My dad strongly believed in the right of a person dying of a terminal illness to maintain their dignity of life for as long as possible, but he believed that when that person's quality of life ended, it was not right to focus on the quantity of days or months that the person might go on before death. Ultimately, my dad made the decision to stop eating and drinking, an option called VSED, voluntarily stopping eating and drinking. Some experts have suggested that this is an easy and available method to accelerate one's own inevitable death. I was there with my dad and my stepmom the whole time, and from my experience, there is nothing easy or humane about this kind of death. We kept dad as comfortable as possible with the help of hospice for the 12 days it took him to die. But it wasn't enough. He was conscious. His lips became grossly chapped from lack of water. Worst of all, he developed terminal agitation, which meant he had sudden uncontrollable fits of yelling and violent thrashing on his bed. This went on for days. His final days were horrific and frightening. It was not peaceful, it was not beautiful. I will never get the images from that last two weeks of suffering from my mind. My father, Sid Gibson, died in May 14, 2014 at 68 years old. He wanted the option of aid in dying so that he could die in peace, surrounded by our family and friends. Isn't that the good death we all want? He would have preferred to live, but his body was dying and making him suffer. That his is a little over. Do, do you have written testimony for us to read rather than read it to us? Do you? I submitted it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.